Hi peeps, and today I'm going to show you how to make this sound. Which is my attempt at the purple Lamborghini yoink. This is not the purple Lamborghini yoink. I know it sounds like the purple Lamborghini yoink, but it is not the purple Lamborghini yoink. I tried to remake the purple Lamborghini yoink, and this is the result. But I did not sample it. So I made this using Citrus and a lot of the default plugins in FL Studio, apart from OTT which you need to make everything sound dank nowadays. So this is what it sounds like without any processing. Sounds a bit crap really. So um, first of all you need operator 1 on a triangle wave and you turn that up 8 which makes it 4, I don't know, it's like 4 octaves. So yeah. Then operator 2 is a sine wave and that's on 4 times. And then there's operator 3 which is another triangle but that's just on the default that's on 2. And you need to modulate um, 1 by 2 about there which is about 2 o'clock. And then the same on 2 to 3. Um, now there's a... M now... Yeah. The volume of operator 1 is being modulated like that. You can copy the state for that and put it on operator 2. But with operator 2, the peak's slightly further down. And then all of this is going into filter 1, which has the exact same shape. However, operator 3 just has that, that straight ramp down for the volume. So filter 1 is low pass, I think it's the mango low pass filter, yeah. The cutoff is about 12 o'clock, the resonance is about 10, uh, I don't know, half 9. Uh, the envelope is about 11, um, so on times 1, that's the exact same shape as the other operators. And you can put the filter fully down, on oh, a bit of drive there as well at 9 o'clock. Uh, then the FX is going out as well, that has a chorus on order 9 and the volume is about 35 I think. Um, yeah. Then on main you need to go to the unison and turn the order up by 2. And then that gets you this. Now first of all up an EQ just cutting off the lows and rolling off the highs and a bit of a dip there because that's where we want our drums and stuff to be. Uh, probably around there as well but yeah. Um, then here's the secret weapon through to delay 3. If you turn off the keep pitch and tempo sync and put it at 9 o'clock you can get some really crazy noises if you just automate that. So I found the sweet spot which is just above 9 o'clock slightly. Um, on here, the wet is being automated along with it, and the tone, here, as you can see here, this introduces it, so it makes like, the metallic, so it's not completely metallic, so if I turn, if I turn that up, or if I turn this one up, oops. You can see that gives it a much more metallic sound. Then after this, this there's a fruity reverb too. The decay turned pretty much fully down. There's a low cut up a bit. The wet's being automated similar to the delay. There's the sizes around there. And the diffusion's fully up. Um, then of course there's an OTT. And then here we have another parametric EQ, where there's a, um, it's a low cut there, which is being automated upwards, along with a little notch there at the same point, which is just this automation here, which gives it a bit more of a vowel sound. There we go. Then there's a wave shaper, at that point there which um, distorts it slightly. There's another EQ there just cutting out some of the low rumble. Then the course of the sanitizer on preset A, fully up. And there's just a maximum to fatten stuff up and a limiter. 
So yeah, that's how I got the purple Lamborghini yoink. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a good day.